is Arlene. And this is Gauri. And today we have a special guest, uh, two guests actually, but one guest will be speaking today and his name is Taylor. And you are from Nusti Putra, Malaysia. I am. And I am today you are going to talk about a very exciting uh I'm sorry, a very exciting uh, topic which is called the Theatre Mind Mind. Yes, it is. Uh, it's a very weird <laughs> topic actually, but what is it all about? It is actually about, um, uh, it's a showcase about how the young generations from all over Malaysia auditioned for the program T4YP and it's kind of like a final show, a graduation piece sort of, um, after the five months of intensive master classes. Mm-hmm. So it's a theatre it's a showcase where we display, you know, songs and some several acts and also some pieces of dancing, be traditional and contemporary. Mm-hmm. What is T4YP? T4YP stands for Theatre for Young People. It's this um, program which has been um, organized since 2008 in KLPAC, the Kuala Lumpur Performing Arts Center. And every year they take in new people. They, help, they hold audition for young kids uh, from the range of 16 to 25 to try out the, you know, the performing arts world, mm-hmm. to have a taste of it. Mm-hmm. And how did you get involved? You know, as much as I know, uh, my co- I mean, my... my yeah, uh, I'm my actually uh, from a performing arts background as well. Oh, wow. I, s- I studied acting and directing right. uh, in Penang, in USM. That's awesome. <laughs> and I, I used to work in Kelpak as well. Oh, really? Yes. What do you do at? Uh, I was just interning. I was stage managing. I'm interning as well right there. Right now. Oh, <laughs> yes, uh, mine was two years ago. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. senior. senior. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so how did you get involved? And um, I mean, KL Pack seems to be a very exciting place to be. It seems like for the arts mm-hmm. um, circle. But what is it all about? And how did you get involved? Right. Um, first of all, I mean, how do you mean, how do I got involved in T4YP and, and T4YP and KLPAC. T4YP and KLPAC. Okay, first I was exposed to KLPAC and during my second year of university, I, I major in English literature. So we kind of have to take this excursion, field trip to watch a theater. I mean, mm-hmm. a, a play, which, which was made compulsory. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, what like, play? Oh. Yeah, you know, like, it's going to be Shakespeare. Because you know, <laughs> obviously all literature student has to do that. But yeah, that's the first time that I was exposed to KLPAC. And in terms of T4YP program, a senior of mine actually auditioned for last year. So she was an alumni of mm-hmm. 2013's T4YP badge. And when I asked her about it, she said, go for it. You know, there's absolutely nothing to lose. You lose. You get to go for five months of intensive master classes for free, for five, you know. And it but is it like between certain age group or you have to be like a student? Uh, no, it, you don't have to be a student as long as is you fit into the age range between 16 to 25. Mm-hmm. As of right now, in my batch, there are accountants, there are graphic designer, you know, and there's, there's this little girl, just high school student at the age of 16. So mm-hmm. there's really a variety of people coming together and immersing herself in the world of performing arts. Mm-hmm. And Gauri, you were part of it as well. What, what was I your was experience? not part of TIFA YP, though. But you were part of KLPAC. I was part of KLPAC, <laughs> but... Uh, Mine was not uh, on the performing side because I was stage managing. So it was more of uh, handling the show uh, backstage, make sure that everyone's at the right place at the right time, that no props go missing, no costumes go missing. So you'll be, it's a you'll very, be, very you'll stressful be the one job. handling him. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, if, yeah. He, if, he goes, if, he goes, if anyone goes missing, I have to know where they are. She'll be so. in trouble. <laughs> so what is your role in this Mind Mind Theatre? Mm-hmm. So in this Mind Mind Theatre, uh, it's been broken down to, like I said before, into several pieces. There are songs, dance and dramas. So uh, in terms of the drama, the act itself, we have five short plays between 10 to 15 minutes each. And I'm um, actually the lead roles of in two of the five plays. Oh. So uh, yeah. What is your role? The, the charming prince? <laughs> no. A, as a matter of fact, I play the opposite. <laughs> In both of the short plays, I actually play the villain. Oh. I, yeah, in one of the plays, I actually play an incestuous brother who molests his sister. <laughs> oh, wow. That yeah. is a very sensitive topic. <laughs> it is. And you know what's the most um, intriguing thing about this? All the five short plays were written by our members ourselves. Oh, okay. So it's really based on the experience of the members, the youth. We're trying to you know reflect the experience that youth go through nowadays. Can you maybe give uh, more example of the stories that will be uh, staged at the Mind Mind Theatre? Um, 
a, is there a theme? Because I uh, so, as far as I'm in concerned, terms of yeah. in, in terms of theme, mm-hmm. I I can't give you a specific answer. Okay. Because, like I said before, it's like a showcase, so it's a mixture mm-hmm. of everything. Okay. It's like a graduation ceremony, sort of, for um, the thirteen of us, mm-hmm. because we go in there with absolutely zero knowledge of performing arts. Okay. So this is. What we are showcasing, what we have learned throughout the five months, we can, we are singing, we are dancing, we are acting, uh, even script writing. That's why you know the the place that we have chosen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's from our, it's based on our own experiences. Mm-hmm. But why is it called mine mine? You know, you can have like ten thousand <laughs> other names. So why, She's why still mine? not over the name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. The thing is, uh, so yesterday we were discussing about it, and and one of our colleagues uh, came up to me and said, "Gary, what's what's May May?" And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> and then he said, "You know the topic for tomorrow." And I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> that's that's mine mine." <laughs> okay, actually, it's a very good question actually because right. it's been um, asked by a lot of people. Like, why is it mine mine? It's mm-hmm. quite a weird title for a play, really. But here's um, here's the core concept, really. T4YP in the in the previous batches, they've always been focused on putting up and uh, recruiting people, and putting up shows and selling tickets. Mm-hmm. You know the plays was were never written by the members. The previous batches, they were only they were solely um, trained on acting, on how to perfect acting, and then KLPAC staging the mm-hmm. act and then you know to the public. This year they've made a change to the program. They think that they need to have a more holistic approach to the program where mm-hmm. you know the youth needs to be introduced to all facets of performing arts, not just acting. You know, pe- when pe- whenever people think of performing arts, mm-hmm. you know, it's all acting, glitz and glamour. But it's not that, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not a glamour job. It's <laughs> not. It's so not. It's so much more it's so much tougher than that. It's you know and then this time around we're exposed to, you know, acting, singing Dancing, script writing, directing, mm-hmm. um, technical stuff, stage oh, management, okay. choreography, oh. everything. Like we get a, we get a touch of you know a, a taste in everything, and thus explaining the title mind mind because we are playing around with the, the new concept. And also, mm-hmm. if we talk about the content of the play itself, it's really mind mind. It's a very joyful show. Like. Uh, our I would say our motive is to make our, our audience feel at ease right from mm-hmm. the moment they enter the door. We will make them feel at ease all the way and bring them bring that energy and keep that energy all the way to the end of the performance. Mm-hmm. So are you guys also uh, in charge of coming out with the lighting design, set design, and all that? That one uh, is up to the stage man- manager, uh-huh. and it's not one of us. It's oh. actually one of the you know more <laughs> skilled people um, that we have. Oh, but you guys just learn it. But yes, oh, we learn it theor- okay. theoretically, mm-hmm. but we don't get to apply it. What kind of dance that you do? Do you just like do freestyle dance, or de- there's like a mixture of different dance style that you employ here at the theater? My mind. Right. Um, we were exposed throughout the five months program. We were exposed to two kinds of dance. One is a traditional Malay dance. So we learn, you know, stuff like endang, joge, zapin, inang. Wow. Which was really hard. <laughs> you actually dance? <laughs> we, uh, no, it's not hard. How was it to to curl your fingers? It's, <laughs> it's very hard. Try maintaining your fingers, you know, 90 degrees in, in that position. And just, you know, go go in all the right <laughs> position and everything. You're like, hey, Salah, look at come on. <laughs> it's really hard. And um, that's for the con- traditional Malay mm-hmm. dance. In terms of contemporary dance, uh, we learn how... Contemporary can be a fusion of so many things. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it can be fusion of life and also physical gestures. You know, it's not all about arcs and shades and everything. It's so much deeper than that. And in this particular piece, we will be um, staging one of the traditional Malay dance, which shall not be named, I guess. <laughs> well, the more, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and um, one, um, two contemporary pieces. Uh, no, three. Three contemporary pieces. So it's very interpretive, I guess. Mm-hmm. You have to come and watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, sorry, you want to ask? Ah, I just wanted to ask who is uh, coordinating, who's uh, sorry, in charge of T4YP right now. Who's in charge of T4YP? T4YP uh, was founded by uh, Joe Hasham. Mm-hmm. So um, it's always been him as being the artistic director uh, mm-hmm. th- throughout the years, up until this year. Okay. Yeah, uh, but the, of course, under him, He's like the you know the big guy right mm-hmm, there, mm-hmm. but under him 
there, there, there are a lot of people who are helping out, oh. you know, being oh. in charge of T4IP. Okay. Yeah. Including you. No, I'm just a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a member, just a tiny member, you know. <laughs> but um, uh, but in terms of the creative direction of T four YP is solely by the students who were part of this, right? Who we, are part of this? Um, like I've said before, we were exposed to directing as well. So after we were, the scripts were chosen, and some of them were appointed to direct the plays, but on up only to a certain level. But when the show days are nearing. Uh, we kind of have to let go of that roles and let the professional um, come in and really direct us because at the end of the day, we still have a show to set up, you know. We, mm -hmm. It cannot be like an experimental kind of thing. It is an experimental kind of thing, but, you know, there's a standard to uphold there before we get to stage anything to the public, you know, if, you, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you have any uh, theatre background before this? Because you said you were studying English literature. I, I do. I mean, I've always liked performing. Oh, you know, ever okay. since high school, I was just mm. joining public speaking, drama, choir. And then when I entered university mm. in Putra, Malaysia, mm. I started participating in... I, I was involved with two musicals. I was um, in Les Miserables. Oh. Yeah. In, uh, in your university? Yeah, it's a university. What was your role? No, I was... <laughs> I, I had two roles. I mm. played the priest okay. and also the molester. <laughs> <laughs> you give up this molester vibe to I, directors. I, I know, I know. You should feel very afraid right now. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm sitting right next to you. But you should feel very. Well, I I actually do karate, so I I'm fine. Oh, I, okay, then I, I should I, be afraid I feel of safe, you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, in the second production, I um I was involved with Beauty and the Beast, the musical. This Let me guess, you were the molester. <laughs> A good one, but no, uh, I played the ma the lead antagonist, the bad guy, ah, like Gaston. Okay. Yeah, I was the like the narcissistic vain guy who just like to look at the mirror and mm -hmm. yeah. Did are you scared to be typecast? Just <laughs> <laughs> actually just seeing the trend here. I I do I do I've mm -hmm. been I'm observing and analyzing my you know my track records. I'm like, why am I getting all the bad roles? You know, like do I not have a good face kind of guy? Except for Come being a on. priest at one time. <laughs> yeah, I mean okay. I was priest, so but, that's good. But what is your dream role? I mean, to be very frank, I mean, I'm sure every actor or actresses have their dream role. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of dream role that you want to act as? Well, that's actually funny because I've never given it much thought. I, I mean, as an actor, I feel like we need to be a blank canvas. Mm -hmm. So whatever, we need to be very appreciative of what the, um, I don't know, the director or the the artistic director want you to do you kind of need to respect their mm -hmm. and then mold yourself into that character that they want you to be it's not it's not all about yourself mm -hmm. you think acting is all glitz and gamble because you know hollywood you know you get to call the shot <laughs> no, no 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 that's not the case <laughs> you need to respect them but mm -hmm. at the same time be true to yourself and then be that character so in terms of ideal character I would say none, but I would love to, you know, play different, different characters, you know, from time to time, just to, you know, challenge myself, shake things up. So, would, would a Prince Charming be a dream role to you? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like Prince Charming is a bit too overrated, I don't know, like, you know, I can play that role, I've, I don't know, I don't know if that I have the face for it, because <laughs> I look so villainy and bad, but I w I'm up for the role, definitely, most definitely. But how do you feel like uh, Tifa YP has uh, changed you or, or has it shaped you to a different person after all that intensive it training? Has, it has changed me quite a lot, I mm -hmm. would say, you know, because, I mean, pardon me for saying this, because, mm -hmm. you know, we, are, we live in Malaysia. Right. So we have this, like, Malaysian and timing and everything, you know, mm -hmm. when people say 3 o'clock, you know, you come at 3.15 or 3.30. <laughs> Tifa YP has done the just the opposite for that, you know. Okay. We were not allowed to be one minute late. There's this oh. one time I was just um, three minutes late. Mm -hmm. We, I mean, me together with like the other latecomers, we actually had to sit through a one hour and a half of lecture and scolding. Oh, it was really intensive. So it was really... it Joe Hashem doing the scolding? Oh no no no, oh. it's the one. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's so big that he only comes to like the last rehearsal. Mm. You know, he doesn't okay. really come like in the intermediate mm. kind of thing. So um, that's one. You know, make, um. Better commitment and better discipline. That's mm -hmm. one. Um, secondly, like I said before, it has definitely broken this stereotypes and perspective mm -hmm. of how easy acting is. You know, it's 
not that easy. It's really, really hard work. It can you can you describe what kind of um, activity that you have to go through in order for you to be a better actor? Okay, first of all, that's like you know the physical. You have to as an actor, you have to be in good shape all the time. I mean, not as in. So you have to like no no fat food. I don't <laughs> no, mean, no, no, no. I mean, like, you know, at least you, you just got to know how to take care of yourself, you know. That's one. That's really important because our body, our voice as an actor is the most important thing. It's the most crucial thing because mm-hmm. without all those things, you won't get to act. You don't get to act. And in terms of, like, characterization, there's lots and lots of homework that needs to go through. Like, once mm-hmm. you get a character, mm-hmm. it's not just about, okay, I'm going to get this script and I'm going to read it through, and if this is what I, it feels like, and it sounds like I feel, mm-hmm. then it's, no. It's, you you really have to go, you have to picture the character as if the character is you. You embody the character. Mm-hmm. You embrace it. Let's say, you know, if I play the molester, like, why do I molest? Mm-hmm. Where's my background coming from? Mm-hmm. That that Thus, I have to do all those homeworks about, you know, I have to figure out, like, Okay, I have an abusive mother, and then my father runs away. My sister mm-hmm. abused, um, you know, bullied me all the time. I, I have to have all this minute and tiny details. They are details that can be, you know, overlooked, but they are really, really important because they help you shape every aspect of your character. Mm-hmm. There's not one time that you can let down and say, like, okay, I can revert back to Taylor. No, you have to maintain in that character all the time. I think that is uh, always the hardest part about acting. When you get into a character... Uh, because when it comes to movie, you can always, you know, yeah. uh, when the director says cut after like five or ten minutes, then yeah. you can you can break out of it. You can you can take a break. But once you're on stage for a show, it's like one and a half hours to two hours, and you have to stay in character. Exactly. There's, there's no, uh, like you said, suddenly switching back to yourself, yeah. switching back to the character, especially when you have something like, you know, if the character. Uh, has a broken arm or something. Yeah. That, that's something that you have to carry for two hours and it can be really, really tiring. Exactly. You can enjoy like, oh, okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of uh, like beginner, beginning actors, they tend to forget. Yeah. They, they come up with this really, because sometimes it's up to them. Mm-hmm. The director leaves it up to them to mm-hmm. come up with something. So they come up with something. Then like 10 minutes later, they forget about it. <laughs> so yeah, the arm is like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's broken and it's okay. It's really as mm. simple as things like that that can really destroy the entire mm-hmm. show. Let's say I I get I I pass I hold a rose, you know, a rose and I don't know, in the next one minute I need to do a really abrupt sudden physical movement. Mm-hmm. And I forgot about the rose and I let go of the rose. Mm-hmm. But the rose is imaginative lah. You right, know, like right. you know so like audience be like, Oh what happens to yeah. the rose? It's all action <laughs> and movie now, like you know what happened. And also when it comes to the entry and exit yes, of the stage. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how do we? Uh, how are we able to go to this Mayan Theatre? And when is it? Um, on? it's like it's staged on um 18 to 20th, which is um tomorrow. Mm, tomorrow. <laughs> yes, it's very exciting. Um, 18 and 90 we'll be having a night show, which is 8:30 to 10. Mm-hmm. And on Sunday we have a matinee show, which is a a, no, a noon show at 3 p.m. It's held at the Kuala Lumpur Performing Arts Center in Sentul. Mm-hmm. You can either get there by car, you mm-hmm. can just easily waste your way there, or you can take a public transport by KTM, mm-hmm. stop at Sentul Station, and you can. it's just like 10 minutes walk away from the station. And you have to pay 20 bucks. To yeah, tw- 20 bucks per head. Per head. Yep. And uh, how long is the, the, the performance? Uh, it's one hour sure. and 15 minutes. And what can they expect? From mm-hmm. the performance. They can expect lots of fun because we are mind mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any audience interaction where they can go in and mind mind with you? Uh, in terms of what's <laughs> <laughs> <sounds> wrong? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Appreciate the sentiment, but, <laughs> but no pun intended there. <laughs> yeah, got it. Mm, uh, in terms of interaction with the audience, yes, but only at the beginning. We. Um, audience will obviously not be allowed to participate while we're acting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but at the beginning we will we are the ones who are going to usher them in and you know guide them to their seats oh, and okay. interact with them mm. it'll be like all 13 of us will be all over the place around the stage okay. just talking to the audience mm. until you know there's a queue and whatever and then we all kind of have to like slither our way to the, the, the stage and boom start oh. That way, you know, we can ease the audience into the show. It's not like, okay, welcome, welcome to KPSC, welcome to my mind, you know, and just have a seat and mm. just enjoy the show. No, we will talk to them, you know, we will mm-hmm. interact with them. Mm-hmm. 
Very interesting. And all of these uh, activities, at the end of it, uh, what is the goal of uh, My Mind Theatre? Or, the or T4YP, uh, T4YP in, in general? In general, of, of course, you know, the ultimate goal of T4YP is to expose to the you know, future the younger generations to the world of performing arts because it's so important because, you know, mm. in this time of globalization and, you know, techie stuff, the world, mm. you know, tech savvy stuff, it's really easy to ignore all this arts thing. And mm-hmm. it's, um, I think it's a really, really great program to attract um, potential leaders of the, our country, I feel. Because, you know, as you know, if you want to lead, I feel like you need to have a ho- holistic mind. You need to be open about everything. Not everything is about science. Every, you know, art is very absolutely mandatory, you know. It, mm. Even back in those days, Plato, everything started with art. Mm. Only then science developed from, from it, you know, and then philosophy and all sorts of stuff. Mm. Yeah, I think, uh, did, have you watched The Dead Poet Society? I do have the movie in my laptop. You I have not watched have it. You have to watch it. Oh, you, okay, <laughs> they give okay. you a heads up, you'll be crying towards the oh end. Oh my god, okay, so, okay, uh, no, no spoilers. What happens is, uh, well, I have to tell you uh, this one beautiful quote from the movie. Right. Where, uh, uh, I forgot, Robin Williams, uh, his character, he's talking to his students and he says, you know, uh, science is important because it keeps you alive. But art is what you stay alive for. Yeah. And I think that is it's, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. It, 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 yeah, it, it Great encapsulates quote. the entire idea of of the beauty of arts. Oh, wow. I'll, yeah. I'm going to watch you, up that yeah, quote you, now. Yeah, you have to watch it. Okay, <laughs> I will watch I it. I have to watch it also. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. <laughs> so what is your final message uh, to those who are interested to join or those who do not know anything about theatre at all? What is your final message to them? Okay, um, maybe I have two messages in, in terms mm-hmm. of T4IP. Go join it, people. Like, it's <laughs> real. <laughs> it's really, 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 it, you know, uh, it, I mean, there's a lot of sacrifice, of course, because, you know, I have to go all the way from UPM to the theater, which mm-hmm. is about 45 minutes. Oh, okay. And the practice, the rehearsals are twice a week. So it can be, time can be, time and energy can mm-hmm. be quite a constraint there. Mm-hmm. But go for it by all means, because, it will definitely open your minds to horizons that you don't even know that it's there. You will, they will push you to the absolute max. They will stretch you like a rubber band. So how can they get involved in T4YP? Like who to contact and what to check D- about? They have the audition every year, so um, I guess you can. Oh, you need to get yourself updated with you know, go to the Facebook page and like the page, KLPAC, and then mm-hmm. they will have the poster mm-hmm. every single year for, for, call for, the for, for, for audition. Oh, for audition, sorry. <laughs> <Ashiden>. <laughs> I don't know, how did I talk about that? <laughs> she does that a lot. So. <laughs> and for the that, audition, yeah. <laughs> that's in for T4YP, go join it. And in terms mm-hmm. of my mind, really, just come to our show and, you know, that's mm-hmm. probably the first step that you can take in, in terms of getting what T4YP is all about. And, generally the world of performing arts it's really fun at the same time i mean what you see can be fun but that's gonna, what's going to engage you to what's deeper which is the program itself mm-hmm. very interesting so uh for those who are listening now of course uh, join the my i mean please uh, go and uh, watch, watch the my mind theater and please join the t4yp if you are really really curious about this thing called theater <laughs> and arts uh, performing arts and uh, with that thank you very much thank yeah, you thank you very much taylor for thank joining you us for, this morning for having me yeah thank you and good luck with your show <laughs> thank yeah, you good luck. hope to see you guys there